a channel viewer sent me a question via email. He is making fishing lures, and what he's basically doing, he's got a balsa wood core inside of a mold, and he's trying to enrobe or drape or surround the balsa wood core with resin. And uh, he's having all kinds of problems with bubbles and voids and everything else. He wanted to know what would happen if he put the mold with the balsa wood core in a pressure pot. And I said, I think I know what's going to happen, but I'm not sure. So time to do some serious science. And, you know, we're like the Large Hadron Collider around here. We do heavy duty science. So let's break out the sticky wax. And I got a couple of beautiful chunks of balsa. Very nice. And all we're going to do, we're going to have a control because we're scientific. And you know me, I'm big on very highly scientific testing. We're going to have a control in which we just put the balsa in a cup and we cast resin around it. And get it down in there to secure it. And that should hold it well enough. Same with this one. Good. Okay. We'll surround the balsa wood with resin in both cups, but one we're going to just leave out in the open air in the studio, and the other one we'll stick in the pressure pot. So let's fill these up and see what happens. Mixed up a nice batch of resin. Got the old AB together. Here's a hot tip. If your cup is pretty full like this is, dump into a smaller cup and fill from there. And you're less likely to spill. And then, when you have less resin in a bigger cup, you can just fill. Just fill it up. Fill it up. Choo, choo, choo. Okay, there. They're about filled pretty close to the same. Now, the fun is going to be, I need to carry this one over to the pressure pot and not spill it. Into the pot it goes. Put it well in the back. Close up the lid. And away we go. All right, we'll let that charge up and do its thing. All right, how are we doing here? Hard as a rock. Very good. Looking good. Let's go get the one out of the pot. Pull this thing out of the pot. There it is down in there looking beautiful. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's head on over to the bandsaw. We're at the bandsaw. This should be interesting. All right, back from the bandsaw. Turns out, looks like these cups will come right off. Or maybe not the bottoms, but more or less. Okay, let's start with no pressure. We can see the troubles. You can see that uh, air and probably moisture came out of that balsa wood, and it made quite a, quite a bit of bubbleage on both sides. Lots of bubbles in here. I'll get you in closer so you can really see it. Lots of bubbles here. This is not a surprise because this is no pressure. This is just out in the atmosphere, nothing to help suppress the bubbles. And this is when I talk about how I use a pressure pot to suppress foaming. This is exactly the kind of foaming that I'm talking about. The resin did not, you know, enter the wood at all, but that's not surprising because there was no pressure to force it in. So but not bad, it encapsulated it okay. Let's look at the one that lived in the pressure pot. First thing is you see absolutely no bubbles on the top. You do see the kind of striations or the, 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 the way the dye can sometimes, if you, unless you really, really, really mix for a long time, the dye doesn't thoroughly mix. Let's take a look inside. Okay, first of all, no bubbles at all. Of course not. You'd expect to not catch bubbles. And we didn't. If you look really closely at it, I think that resin did get pushed into the pores. See the blue streaks? The, the, those would be the, the long vertical pores of the wood. So there was some 
resin that got impregnated into the wood. Is that the right word for resin going into wood, impregnated? <laughs> but basically, that's pretty clean. So I'm going to say yes, the pressure did push resin into the pores, into the grain of the wood running along the vertical grain. I think that's pretty interesting. Uh, let's go do a further cut on the bandsaw. I'll come right back to you. All right, I'm back. Cut it radially in the other direction. And here, yeah, here you see it even clearer. You see that while the resin didn't get all the way through the wood, it certainly did enter into the wood a little bit, but I don't think that would really affect the buoyancy that much. Yeah, you can see it. It definitely, definitely entered in. All right, very interesting experiment. And uh, this is why you do testing because it gives you all kinds of <laughs> really interesting results. Um, I'm not a big fan of potting resin around stuff. Uh, I find it difficult and I usually don't do it. But in this case, it may be a solution that might work. Hey, if you like this video, hit that like button. And uh, I hope you got something out of it. I hope you did like it. And I will see you next week.